What up guys and welcome back to Star Maid. I'm Dugamus and we're playing on the Prawley.org server. Uh, originally this was going to be a speed build, but I ran into some big problems with this airlock here. Uh, if we go over here, we can see Drakart's tutorial plate for his realistic airlock, which I will link in the comments. And it's, it's a pretty complex piece of equipment here, but it doesn't seem to work correctly when you do this to it. <laughs> so I tried to wrap it around my airlock as best that I could and I had it working at one point and then when I saved it as a template it stopped working so as you can see both doors are open on both sides of the airlock that should never happen ever so um, I talked to Drakkard about it a bit, and he suggested I look into how Bench does it with this slidey rail dinghy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna hit a button. Okay, well, nothing happens because that's the wrong button. Let's say I'm inside and I want to pressurize the door. That's just right there. I want to pressurize the system, close the outer door, and open the inner door. Well, I'm going to do that, and it's going to slide across. Now, as a, sa a space saving measure, I did something special. Okay, so let's wait for this door to open. I'm going to go through, I go into gravity, I go through again, I enter into here, you can see my trigger areas, but look what we have here, we have pickup rails. This allows the core, which has to be attached to the dock in order for us to have something to slide up and down to pass right through it saving some space so I thought that was pretty nice yeah. and it's got the lights triggering the correct stuff it has motion activated doors so I'm gonna make this my default airlock design now and I'm going to extract it from this ship at some point uh, so this ship is my tugboat for lack of a better name it uh, is for hauling around my cargo pods try as I may it only has a 0 0.6 thrust to mass ratio when this cargo pod is fully loaded and I don't know if you've noticed but because I haven't put all on this thing yet you can see that it's a good chunk of it is, is engines I want to build some clamp arms to come out here to grab the pod, make it look like it's actually holding onto it, because right now it has absolutely no reason to be attached. I mean, there's a docker in there, but for RP reasons, there's no reason for this to be attached other than it's, it's mounted to a, a dock, which 
I don't know. I, I, I feel like it needs arms. So maybe we'll put some arms here. Coming out there. Here, let's, let's fly into creative mode. So it's a tree plane. And we'll cover some of this up and see how it goes. to get some of these angly bits so that I can bloom out instead of in. So we'll get this. Make sure the airlock still works real quick. Because I haven't done a cover yet. So, I lock the door. It opens because this light was already green. Uh, in the middle is the area of the area trigger that's going to take me out of gravity. So, boom. I'm out of gravity. I can go up, I can go down, whatever. Now when I step in here, this yellow light's going to come on, and the door's going to open. So that means the entity slid over here. I've docked objects turned off, so let's go into docked objects. <laughs> Oddly enough, I named it Pressure. In okay, case so this door opens, and boom, we have gravity. And we're going to step into the trigger that opens the door. And you can see that slide across, timing our pressurization. And away we go. So I thought that was pretty good. Okay, let's put an interior. An inner ship remote. Because right now we have absolutely no way of letting go of this pod. And that's making the ship kind of really slow. Did not think this through. I have no idea what 
Okay. It's not that one. See how this looks. We got that there. I guess I should put that hazard piece back. That's fine. So I guess I could come out from the side. Just let's set up some temporary stuff. Okay, we want that. And we're also gonna need a rail that rotates the other way. Okay. And I need a button. Control this thing. So if I hit this one, it switches. And if that one, it switches. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop out. We're gonna name this one Eject Pod. Since we know what it does. And I'm going to be stuck in the core. I can't believe I'm stuck in the core. No. Enter ship core. Exit ship core. Enter ship core. That's not supposed to be able to happen. Put a block under where it just happens by pop. Yay! Open the door! Open the door!
lock there. And then we're going to this here. supposed to link activation modules to tell it how far you want it to rotate? That's not at all. That's a quarter turn. Well, let's quarter turn it back. long piece and that symmetry plane is useless but this symmetry plane is useful except that I have nothing to anchor it to because in my infinite wisdom I didn't give this a middle block
Okay, so I had to cut and I forget where I was. Alright, um... Ah. Push the button. Push the button. So... It can't turn. Let's remove those. And push it again. It's still gonna block. Okay. So this block just out and out can't be here. Fill in some of this crap here. Okay. I'll fill it in here to make sure it's actually rotating freely, which I don't think it is, but I think it's going to get stuck. I don't have to. Put your ideas in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Google Plus.